you know the future's looking up when a John Green book is more popular than Breaking Dawn. about in that little portion before the intro. Um, John Green posted a video this week and his book Paper Towns got nominated for a uh, library teen reader choice award thing uh, with actual teens voting. Um, he was in the top 20 for that. My nails are two different colors as in this hand's painted and this hand's not. Um, actual teens vote on the top 20 books and John Green with Paper Towns won and he was on a list that included The Hunger Games and freaking Breaking Dawn, and he still got number one, and I'm, like, really excited about that because I'm sorry, but Twilight Mania needs to stop. I read all the books. I've seen Twilight the movie. I probably will somehow end up seeing the other movies, or at least New Moon. I, uh, but as a reader of lots of different books, and I will admit that I have read some really crappy books, I, I don't understand all the Twilight Mania. Caroline, I know you're a big fan, and uh, I love you, and um, I'm sorry, but some of the hype just needs to like just calm down a little bit. But I think it's a, a sign of brightening times when uh, Paper Towns is on top of a list including a Twilight book, and it made, made me really happy. In other news, yes, Caroline, I know what Phantasmic is. Um, the last time I went to Disney World, a few years ago, um, we went to MGM Studios, which is now called some, something else, I don't, Hollywood Studios or something like that, anyway, MGM. Um, and because Fantastic is such a popular show, you have to get in line like two hours in advance if you want good seats, and we were waiting in line, and um, we just started talking to this girl next to us, and uh, like having a conversation, being friendly, and it turns out that she was a girl who played um, Belle in the Beauty and the Beast show that they run at MGM. Um, she was one of the girls who was cast as Belle, and uh, she had like just gotten off her shift, and she was coming to see Fantasmic, and um, she got us uh, front row seats to the show, so that was pretty awesome. I don't remember much about Fantasmic, other than that I thought it was completely awesome and I loved it. And I'm glad you got our package in time for your vlog. Uh, I was hoping that by some miracle it would make it to California in time um, and that you'd open it on camera. Yes, I had to use tape because I buy cheap envelopes that don't like to stay stuck shut even after I lick the, the stuff to make it stick. It, it, they don't always stay stuck, so I thought I'd make extra sure that it would all get to you safely and tape it shut, so get over it. I'm glad you loved everything in it. Um, I saw those uh, those socks at Target, and um, I thought, those are Argyle socks. That's awesome. Wait, those are Slytherin colors. So in a couple weeks, it's going to be To Write Love on Her Arms Day. Um, it's on November 13th, and what it is is this one day where you just take a pen, any pen, you um, not like permanent though, unless you want it there always. And you write love on your arm, anywhere, any way you want, L-O-V-E, and all up in here, down here, really tiny, doesn't really matter. Um, but it's to raise awareness about, um, suicide awareness. And, uh, it's a really good cause and it's pretty popular on campus here. Um, I hadn't heard of it till I came here, so... Uh, I don't know if people who I knew from back home will know what it is or not, but uh, it's November 13th, and I just thought I'd say something about it in here to remind people if they know what it is, or make people aware. Caroline, I don't know if you were planning to do it, you probably were, um, but I just thought I'd talk about it, throw that out there, that it's kind of fun, and you should do it, that it's kind of you know, there, and I mean, it's it's pretty simple because it doesn't cost anything. It's not a big pain in the butt. People write all kinds of stuff on their hands anyway. Um, but but writing love on your arm on November thirteenth would would mean something to somebody. So um, 
I just thought that was kind of cool. Also happening next month, um, November is NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month. I have heard of it before, I've never participated before, but a couple weeks ago I got a really good idea, or what I hope is a good idea, for a book and I've kind of just been waiting so that I can actually uh, give NaNoWriMo a try and see how I do. Um, the guidelines are you start on November 1st and at the end of the month your goal is to have at least 50,000 words worth of a novel by the end of the month. And um, there's a website, nanoremo.org. You can go there and register. It's free. Um, and it's all outlined on the website. Um, but you can go and enter or whatever. Um, there's not like a money prize or whatever. It's just kind of a cool thing that writers can do. Um, but I decided that I'm going to participate this year. Uh, it's something I've always meant to do, I think, and I never, never just did. I always forgot that November was NaNoWriMo. Um, but I've been kind of keeping this idea formulating in my head, waiting for NaNoWriMo to start. And um, so expect lots of updates in my November vlogs about how I'm doing with that, my progress and all that jazz. Yes, Caroline, it's a friendship bracelet. Um, I made it for you instead of doing some French homework online. And uh, it's actually, it's, if you look really closely, um, it's a braid, but if you look at it, it's actually three smaller braids braided together. Um, I thought it would look cool, and I used three shades of green because green's your favorite color. Um, but yeah, it is a friendship bracelet. I know you texted me and were a little bit confused. <laughs> but uh, shut up. So I think that's all I have to talk about. Um, Rachel, I'll see you later tonight, and Caroline, I'll see you Monday. This, my friend, is a sign of extreme procrastination. Not only am I putting off homework by painting my nails, but I'm putting off painting my nails by vlogging. Oh, yay.